three and a half games, and now it looks like he's hurt again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Petal. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playalog. And today, we are once again hitting you guys with the weekly recap, the Blue Jays Today show, where we're going to talk everything baseball, and we're going to talk everything Blue Jays. Um, Just a little, uh, little tidbit. Mm. George Springer left the freaking ball game today. Um, obviously, oh, we're going to talk about that, boy. but uh, but that didn't feel too good because oh, the last boy. podcast we did was literally <laughs> George Springer is coming back. I don't want to have to make the one where it's George Springer is going away. Again. No. So we're going to talk about we're gonna that. We're going to talk about that. We're def- <laughs> I got to get some stuff on my chest. Yes. We're going to be talking about that. But before we do, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this channel and this content. Also, today, Jace is our code for Monkey Night Fight and for Manscaped. So ball cleaning and uh, sports betting. So to use that. You'll get some discounts. You'll get some free money. It's a great deal on both of them. Yes. Um, Okie doke. Oh, and $3 a month to become a Patreon. You can yes. Call into the show. Absolutely. Come Let's on just in. get straight into it, man. Let's yeah. do what we normally do. Let's start with all the baseball, and then we will we will zero in on the J. So what do you got yeah. that happened in baseball this week? So first thing that's kind of, you know, this has been something that's always been going on. It's that whole Reds versus Cubs rivalry, and mm. it really has been brewing for, like, the last four years. And the centerpieces of the two, like, main guys on each team have been Javier Baez and Amir Garrett. Amir Garrett, the relief pitcher. Javier Baez, obviously, the wannabe superstar shortstop. Shortstop. <laughs> um, but they're both very fiery people, and right. they had a brawl recently, and there were some harsh words tossed around. Like, literally, Javier Baez, after the game in a post-game interview, said, well, if you really want to fight... We'll go one on one. So Jesus, man. that is, is getting like real. you almost never hear that happen. You know, no. like post game interviews usually like they're a lot more calmer. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, like you know, there's no room for that on the field or whatever. Yeah, yeah. When you're literally <laughs> up and saying in your post game interview, I will go one on one with you. Let's take it outside. Oh, yeah, for real. Like. There is some bad blood here. Oh, man, it is bad. It is bad. You know, I thought Padres, Dodgers, one of the, you know, best rivalries, rivalries in baseball, which it is. Mm-hmm. But this, you know, this could be a close second. Like, yeah, people are brawling. Yeah. I don't see us getting into brawls. With no people. We're just kidding. too nice. You know, I, uh, they actually played today. So I guess this is yesterday for you guys. Um, and they had a killer game, man. Yeah. I wish I could have seen it 13 to 12. Wow. And the Reds take it, man. And I, wow. I, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought that was the last game in the series, but um, uh, I could be. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, that's insanity, man. Mm-hmm. Like that'll just fuel the fire a little bit more for the yeah. next time that they oh, play. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they're definitely getting their brawls. And speaking about the Dodgers, mm-hmm. they actually had a bit of a bad week this week. Their last ten is three and seven. Mm-hmm. Usually for most teams, this isn't news. <laughs> but when it's the Dodgers, and I literally predicted them to have the best <laughs> season ever, and then they go it is news. This. And then they yeah. go and they they do. Th- Three and seven in the last ten. Oh my god, they're not on pace for that just yet, as of right now. They were literally two and eight, and then today they actually whooped the Brewers sixteen to four. So like that was. I think it was like two grand slams in the first two innings. Yeah, literally ridiculous. Ridiculous. It was was incredible. So like obviously they were saving a lot of their offense for this day. Just exploded. Um, it's early, guys. Like obviously everyone's been telling us it's early, and they we've been overreacting about stuff. But guys, (laughs) it's it's baseball. It's fun to overreact. Yeah. Uh, it's fun to overreact, yeah, man. And, but, and you, you know, know what is crazy? Yeah. You were actually saying this pre-podcast. Uh, you were saying mm. this would have been almost halfway of last year. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I, that's why we're reacting. We're zeroed <laughs> in on what it was last year. Yeah. You know, this, What's if we like? were like 14 and 12, we're like, all right, we're going playoffs. Yeah. No, you know, no, we're no, making for real. It. For real. <laughs> it was around the, like this time. I think it was around when we, we won that doubleheader against the Phillies and we became over 500. We were 12 and 11 is when we were like locked in, like, okay, we're going to the postseason. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of, yeah, exactly. This is exactly the time. So obviously it's a lot of fun, but there is so much baseball to left. In your so words, my Baseball. In your words, this is only the third football game. This is only the third football game, guys. There are many more football games to be mm-hmm. played. But a couple overreactions would be saying that Kansas City is the best team in baseball right now because they actually have the best winning percentage, which what? I find oh. shocking. Um, did not wow. associate Kansas City with being elite unless it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. But uh, but I guess the Kansas City, uh, the Royals, they're off to a pretty hot start. Um, speaking about hot starts, Boston, 17 and 12. We still haven't been able to breach 
bridge the gap mm. yet. But we're second, baby. We're close. We're second. We're close. You know? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think we're close. And, and again, I, I don't think Boston's lead's going to last. No. For May, I think I, I'm predicting at the end of the May. It's gonna be a hot take, <laughs> but I'm predicting at the end of the May, uh, it's no longer gonna be Boston, but it's gonna be the Toronto Blue Jays. I hope so, man. Um, and you know we do have at 14 and 12, the Yankees are right on our tail. They 14 are 14 and 14, and are. some of their guys that we knew were gonna be good are starting to heat up. Yep. One of those guys being Stanton, he's got his OPS now chilling about 850 or something. Uh, Judge is already and has been remaining hot. So yeah. I feel like they're just going to get continue to get better. And now that Kluber is kind oh of returning God. back to what he used to be, it's like... What do you have, like 10 strikeouts today? I think it was 10 strikeouts, eight innings pitched. Um, so, like, he really popped off. And, yeah. uh, like, he had a great week. Now his ERA is down to, like, three on the dot, I think. Nice. Or, like, 3.08. I don't right, know. Right. Very close. Not good for us because no. we were kind of hoping that their pitching would struggle. But it, we Honestly, I was looking at their pitching like it was a bust. Like, Tyone yeah. got his first win this week. And, obviously, Kluber is doing amazing. And, Garrett Cole, you're not going to stop that guy. He's yeah. hard to hit. Uh -huh. In real life, he's hard to hit in MLB The Show. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> that's not good for us. So. Well, and that's the thing, dude, that we were looking at it like a bust, and that's an overreaction on yeah, our part, was, you know, because yeah, it it's literally a, like game two of football, yeah, and now we're, we're in like, game oh, three, and done. we're like, God damn it, they're starting to come into form. So, uh, damn. so yeah, man, um, yeah. what else do you have going on in baseball? Anything else? Yeah, so I got some injury updates, and, uh, you know, for those Jays fans who watch the Saturday game against the Atlanta Braves, Travis Darno mm. is going down with a on the 60 day aisle yeah, with a I thumb him in fantasy uh, with his thumb sprain and as a catcher that shit is going to be tough to yeah, bounce back that's for not good. that's not good uh, so I'm that's going to need that little guy you know oh yeah that's literally the guy that catches the ball yep, <laughs> it's yep, right there need that guy so uh that's that's tough to see for the Atlanta Braves cuz he is a stud however their guy Contreras seems to keep hitting like, well he was hitting like 500 yeah, off literally. Bus or something like literally. even though we were straight up like we literally swept the Braves yeah, awesome, Swept awesome. the Braves, we'll that's right. About, we'll yes. talk about that in more detail exactly. in a bit. Exactly, but, uh, but this guy was literally hitting like 500 off of yeah, us or something yeah, like, in the one game that he played, yeah, but, uh, but yeah. very good. Oh, he, he's solid, but obviously Darno was a great quality yeah, hitter, and yeah. that sucks to see. Mm -hmm. And another guy that sucks to see go down, another Chicago White Sox name, Louis Robert, mm. diagnosed with a hip flexor strain, and he was have to, he had to get helped off the field. Jeez. So it's not that good. does not sound good. It's not good. And guys, if you if that sounds familiar to you as a Jays fan, well, Alejandro yeah. Kirk is going on the 10 day out with oh, a left hip flexor God, strain dude, this after guy, he hits two home runs. Straight up hit after two, hits two home, home runs, runs, man. It was looking like he's about to walk away with this starting catching job, yeah. which is something that we have been preaching oh for time gosh. now. And then up and gets injured it, you know like i think he uh it must have been when he was fouling a ball off because he actually took a walk or am i thinking about is that spring no 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 you're right cuz he well he didn't foul i it was like he took a walk he took a walk mm -hmm. in his first at bat and then uh he was pointing to his hip they, yeah. you know Montoya left uh -huh. in the game they were talking about it but then he was removed to the game removed from the game like, uh, uh -huh. like a couple innings later well he did take a couple big hacks that ab so i think it was something up in there that Probably got to him something. exactly he, he strained you know? his hip flexor it, it is a 10 day <laughs> thing you know i i don't think it's going to be a big thing um but in the meantime we're basically stuck with the now Point zero eight five, I think, yeah. hitting Danny Jansen. Danny um, Jansen. So we're gonna have to make do, guys. But I mean, he did yeah. have a good day today, um, which was he what two for three two with for a three walk with a walk okay. and an RBI. Okay, so there you go, man. Like yeah. that's not bad at yeah. all, especially for Danny Jansen. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, we better be good. Well, you know, obviously in the replacement of uh, Alejandro Kirk, Adams actually got called up, one of our catching guys right. in the system. So maybe we get to see him this week. Who knows, man? Who, who, who knows? Because, yeah. I, I mean, I hope so. I mean, I hope so, man. Well, I mean, exactly, right? Danny Jansen can't be hitting sub 100 and, yeah. and expect to have a role even with our other guy down. Yeah. Like, you just can't do that. Um, so, again, no dead spot in the lineup today. I don't anticipate this to be a, a long, hot streak, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, I think that's enough because, and I kind of want to talk about the Springer injury. Yeah, now. that's that's the um, one I was looking that, at now my that page. We're, literally, like, like now that we're on the injury train. We had this guy for three and a half games, three and a half games, and now it looks like he's hurt again. Um, 
it was it was from one of these things he was trying to run he ran out the box yeah. he stumbled a bit uh it didn't end up being anything he got out um but after that he looked like he was limping a little. He looked like he was wincing a little. He remained on the bench, but he was taken out of the ball game. Yeah. Hopefully today, which is when this podcast comes out, we have a little bit more news. But yeah. for now, we know nothing. Yeah, we know we know literally zilch and like as well like that was today, but like also Saturday. If you remember, he ran out, ran down to first and grabbed his grabbed his quad. Yeah. yeah. Like that could have been. What something. is going on with the legs, bro? I don't know, man. Like I I I, I I'm nervous. Because, like, this week was the first time where I felt like our lineup was oh fully working together. Because the beautiful thing about having a deep lineup is that some days, some guys are on. Yeah. Some days, other guys are on. Mm -hmm. And then some days, everybody's, everybody's on. Yeah. And if our pitching sucks, it doesn't matter because yeah. that day will save us. And there's rarely a day where nobody's on. Yeah. And Springer and Tio yeah. were the were the jump start to that thought. And they that were feeling. the cavalry, man. It was yes. I think it was that a week was or the two reinforcements. ago where we were talking. We said we need to get some reinforcements. We need to flirt with five hundred. And then when the reinforcements mm. come, we should explode. That we happened did. this week. We went four and one, guys. It was amazing. So like great yes. week. Great yes. week. But you know, we can't be losing these reinforcements because literally last Sunday we're on here. What was the what was the freaking title of last Sunday's video? Uh, Ryu left. Ryu game. Yeah. goes now. Down. Now it's now this it's gonna be Springer, Springer. You know, and it's like we can't every Sunday have a freaking video called you know star player goes down. We need to remain oh, healthy. Man. So if if the, if we have another star player going down, not even gonna say his name. But you know who it'd yeah, be, no. and I don't want that. No, I no. It we should. Well, I don't want any of this. To I don't happen, want any man. of this so shit. I'm really hoping that, uh, like, clearly, clearly there are some underlying problems yeah. with the thigh, quadricep, right. hamstring right. area. So, it needs to be worked out. So what should we do? What would you prefer? Maybe he takes like two to three days off and then it continues, or do you want him back in the lineup really quick? Because no. I know some people I mean, are like, let's get him back in. It, it all depends, it all depends. the severity of this. You know, like if, if he is going to be wincing in pain and stumbling and grabbing his hammy every time he tries to run for a single, then you can't be playing, bro. Like, no, you're no, not no. helping us right now, and you're not helping yourself. No. So he's got to go see the doctor, Talk to the doctor and say, hey, how the hell am I going to figure out yeah. how to work with this hamstring yeah. thing right now? Or quadriceptor, whatever it is. I, and I'm cool with him chilling. If it means... He, God, I don't want another 10-day aisle. I swear to God. We'll already know by the time this comes out. <laughs> yeah. But if Monday I see 10-day aisle to Springer... I.L. Springer. I, I, ugh, nothing can go right right now. I feel like mm -hmm. the world's just collapsing on me. Yeah, man. literally, literally. I'm hoping for a couple days <sighs> off, and then I am hoping he's back. But again... Always, you know, we got to think long term. If if it's required, yes. then that's what we have to do, man. Yes, we do. And other guys need to step up yep. if that were to be the case. And good good news is some of them are doing that, you know. They For are, instance, Vlad had a great week. Lourdes had mm -hmm, a great week. Mm -hmm. uh, Bo was pretty good Bro this week. Bo had a great week. Grichik had a great week. Bobo went boom, boom. Yep. Bobo yep. went Bobo boom, went boom, boom, baby. Grichik had a great Grichik week. Grichik had a great week, man. I think Simeon had a pretty decent week, too. Anything went like five for something. Yeah, I mean, Simeon. Simeon five for seventeen. Okay, five for seventeen. Okay, yeah. no, 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 that's like know? average. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you know, it's like as long as you can do average with these other guys doing yeah. the crazy shit, then like I'm okay with that. You know, and, and Tio as well. Like Tio, I he's only been back for again a couple days, but uh, I've been liking the plate approach. I think mm -hmm. he's homered. Right, he's already homered. He's already homered. Back. You know, so it's like we're. I feel like we'll be okay with these guys doing what they're doing. They just have to, you know, remain hot. They have to remain hot and remain. Healthy boys. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time that we crown. We gotta crown the guy who did the best this week, who propelled us to this four and one record. It is time for the day of the week. All right, everybody. It is time for the day of the week. And this week, there's a familiar name winning it again. Mm -hmm. This guy broke MLB record this week, mm -hmm. being the youngest player ever to hit three home runs and seven RBIs. In I think you know who it is. One game. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., you are J of the Week this week. When's the second J of the Week? Second Already. J of the Week, man. And we're just yes. entering May right now, and I feel like he is going to have 
a lot under his belt yeah. by the time this season is done. If, if we have a J of the month, he won J of the month. Yes, sure. he definitely won J of the month, man. When you have an on base percentage of 560, it yeah. was. Yeah, he had an on base of 565 what this week. What the hell, man? <laughs> like, literally, it, again, you know, it's, it. you get on base more times than you don't. That's That's ridiculous. what I'm talking about with being a quality player who changes the game, a For game sure. wrecker. For sure, man. And he hey, won us that first game, man. He won it. He won it, bro. He beat Max Scherzer single-handedly. Literally, he dude, because I think, I, I forget what the score was, but I know that we had nine runs. Yeah. Vladdy batted in seven of yes. them. Yes. Like, that That's should ridiculous. be war equals one yeah. right there. Like, you just you. gained one war. Well, you know what else was one in his stat line? His slugging percentage. 1,000. <laughs> He had a 1,000 slugging percentage and OPS of 1.565. Oh my God. Bro, and, and check this out too. This is the really impressive me. He had eight RBIs total of the week, seven coming from that one game. Yeah. Seven runs scored. And then six walks and two hit by pitches. Wow. Well, so because, dude, incredible. they're starting to intentionally walk this guy. Two. He's gotten two intentional walks like I, this week. Yeah, like, just spoiler, like, you're going to kick my ass in, in walks this week with yeah, this guy yeah. because it's literally, it's getting to the point now where people are scared of him. They're yeah. like, he can hit anything. Mm -hmm. and, and unless we have a quality pitcher up there, like, it's like you need to have your ace that you trust. Like, I don't trust this nobody guy to pitch to Vlad right now yeah. with a man in scoring position. Yeah. Let's just walk the dude and deal with Gritchick. Or you now, it, but now it's but Tio. now it's now it's Tio. yeah, and, and it's like and it's also too like, can we even deal with Gritchick? Can we even deal no. with Tio? I don't no. know. I They're don't know. too good right now. That's Gritchick. the deep lineup. Gritchick's having a career year right now. Tio's coming off a silver slugger, and then after him, it's former MVP candidate Marcus Simeon, and yeah. then Lourdes Gurriel, who hit 308 last year. Yeah. Yeah. That is deep, if I've ever heard of it. It is freaking deep, baby. So, with all that being mm -hmm. said, with Vlad being super hot, with mm -hmm. us going four and one against what I would consider to be pretty quality teams, especially oh the Atlanta Braves. Oh we haven't even God. talked about the sweep, but we yeah. literally swept them. We, we swept them, dude. That's crazy. I've had us losing two to three. Literally. We literally said that we were going to go two and three this week. We went four and one, exceeded expectations. Oh From now on, I will exclusively be saying that we are losing because <laughs> it seems to be working. But For real. What do you think is going to happen this coming week? It doesn't uh. get any any easier we have some tough matchups seven days of baseball though so that's exciting seven days of straight baseball yeah we've been getting used to these just five day weeks but no now we get seven straight days Great. more content, more content. <laughs> no uh, sleep this week for, okay. <laughs> but guys so let's just look at the the estimated pitching matchups to kind of break it down before we give our final mm -hmm. predicts so mm -hmm. Monday today, on well, which the day, which the, the, the video is coming blah, blah, up. Blah blah, blah blah blah. We have Stephen Matz confirmed going, and it looks like we're going to be facing Irvin. Irvin on the Oakland Athletics. Never really heard of this guy. That guy. Tuesday we have a question mark, so it could be a bullpen day. Probably bullpen day. Mm -hmm. And yep. then facing Chris Bassett. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday confirmed Robbie Ray. Okay. Facing okay, off okay. against against Fears or Fires. Oh um, right, Mike. Dude, Mike I fires. never know how to say his goddamn last name. I think it's, I think it's Fears. Fears. Don't know. Um, Phonetically tell us in the comments. Let us please. know. Let us know. And then Thursday, this is the day that will determine determine how well our week actually goes with our pitching staff because. Rumor has it is that Hunjin Ryu, if everything goes okay, should be back to make a start on Thursday. Fingers against freaking cross, boys and girls. Yeah. We need that one we back. We need it. We need it because, well, first thing, Lazardo, that's a game that we could win because... The thing is, let me just go quickly through this one. Uh -huh. Against the Astros coming weekend, uh -huh. it will be Stripling versus Urquidy. I forget how to pronounce his name. Urquidy, Urquidy. I think, I think it is Urquidy. Urquidy, Urquidy. And then Matt's go versus Javier. Javier. Oh God, these pitchers are hard to pronounce. <laughs> and, then, and then we have question marks versus Grinky. So if Ryu does not make that start on Thursday, we will have three question mark days. The other four being literally Ray and Matt's. Yeah, and, or and Matt's, if we have... And Right. three question mark Stripling. days that says to me that well a they're going to be bullpen days and b not only will those days themselves be a lot harder but it makes the entire week harder as well because now 
if let's say Robbie Ray decides I'm gonna get fucked up today and I can only give you three innings, yeah. Now our bullpen is super tired. Oh my now God. we're gonna need to be playing guys that we don't ever want to play. And then it's like for the next day when we do have to do bullpen, it's like who do we well, play now? So you you have to pitch the freaking uh, Tommy Malone's of the world. Literally, bro. So it's like if we have three bullpen days, we need to have almost impeccable outings we from Matt's. From Ray, from Stripling. You think Stripling's gonna give us another impact? Yeah, like outing? that was a great outing that was today. Probably his best outing all for year. For real, for you real. Know, it's I don't, I don't expect that that is gonna continue. So we really need to have Ryu in this lineup. We again. need to because you can't be expecting quality outings from May and 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 or May, uh, Mats and Ray. You you just can't. And Stripling, like. These guys are supposed to be our like back half of the mm -hmm. bullpen in most mm -hmm. cases. Like not aces. Ryu's the ace that you should expect yeah. a quality start. Yeah. So he and he can give you innings. Yeah, because if guys, if we don't have quality outings, like you said, we're gonna be taxed and we're probably gonna be calling up randos. We're gonna have to be calling up randos. Randos. And even two bullpen days. That's still a lot, man. Yes. That's still a lot to deal with because you're right. It does mean that Tommy Malone is probably going to be pitching like four or five yep. innings if yep. we get lucky with him. Yep. And let's face it, dude, like this is a guy that throws 85 down the deck. Right. You know, and that's like his best pitch. Right. So don't love that, dude. And it's just like it's going to make it so much harder on us in general. So with that being said, and with mm -hmm. both of these teams, Oakland yeah. and the Astros, Often incredible stars. over 500. Mm -hmm. What does this mean, dude? Are we gonna are we gonna be positive this week? Are we be negative? Like I don't know. I took another look at it, and in live I said four and three because I was feeling hot. Yeah. But I do think we're gonna split the series with Oakland because we do have Mats and Ray, and maybe we get another win somewhere. Mm -hmm. But we're probably gonna drop one of two against the Astros. We're gonna go three and four this week. Mm -hmm. Hell. Every time we said we've gone under 500, we go over. So I hope that we go over, but I'm going to go three and four. I'm also going three and four as well. That just seems like the most reasonable when you have all these question marks. Yeah. This is in the off season um, when everybody was pulling their hair out and screaming at their phones and their notifications and, and raging in the comments. This is what it was about when yep. we were talking about getting starting pitching. Yep. Yep. You start to feel it. You don't feel it right off the top because no, everybody's no, no. good, everybody's healthy, healthy, everybody wants to play. But now when you're looking at it and you're like, holy shit, holy shit, we have Ray and Matts who are healthy right now as starters. Dude, I, I feel like our team is a busted like minivan with we, our wheel and axles all out of place. Sure, and, like, yeah. We're, 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 we got to get the oil changed, buddy. Oil we, need, changed. we need a bunch of refurbishing going on yeah, here. For real. And, and, and this actually, you know, I'm going to allude to a podcast that's going to be coming this week, guys. We're going to be talking about whether it's time to call up SWR mm -hmm, because... Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is a good time, but it's, we'll yeah, get into We're going to talk about all we're the details and it. stuff, but it, it's not a sustainable strategy it's, to have at minimum, literally this is minimum, two bullpen days a week. That's not that's a sustainable not strategy good. for a playoff contending ball club. No. You don't see the Dodgers doing it. You don't see other teams doing it. Like People who want to win, they have starters. They have mm. guys who can give them five or six on any given day. Yeah. So we need to figure it out. Quick. We do. We do. Figure it out, boys. All right. With that all being said, we set our predictions. Let's play a little fun game of spin the thingamajiggy wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> the spinning fortune baseball colorful future determining stat analyzing and uh, it's a wheel that we spin every week. Okay, folks, we're going to be spinning that wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right, buddy. I think that you did uh, deliver the one-two punch to me this yeah. past week. You got the better of me. Yep, yep. Final score. Uh, so right now it's currently seven to five. I got you in the walks. I had Vlad. Got you in the worst, Jay. I had Dan Jansen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you got me with the Gritchick pick, so that's a good pick. Yeah. You trusted yeah. your gut that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I felt like Gritchick was going to yeah. be having a good week. He has remained hot, so mm -hmm. I trust the boy. Yeah. Might have to pick him again if he uh, if it does land on that for one. real but um but i do believe it is my turn to spin yes. first so um just uh, remind me again of with mm. all the rules so uh, i will spin and then you get to pick one time first i get to pin tw uh, one time yeah hard. and Twice. you decide when you got pick you your got you two. got you got you let's spin the wheel go go spin wheel 
There's an exceptionally fun and stupid drinking game that <laughs> you can play with this thinking. wheel um, that makes almost zero sense. What does it land on? J Killer. J Killer. Okay. Eh? Okay. Oh, okay. Man, this man, man. This stuff. is a tough one because I Oakland am and, not and as familiar <laughs> with. Um, all right, buddy. I, I think this is a great one this for you one to me to go first. For yeah. Day. Feel free to go for it, man. Oh, I know there's one guy on Oakland who's hot, but I can't pinpoint it. I can't. Ah, yeah. I can't. Really I don't even know. And then the huge. Oh, 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 oh. I have Houston players. Okay, I'm going to go with the Houston player because I this is the one I actually know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Yuli Gurriel. Ah, Yuli Gurriel. off to a very hot start, man. He's doing pretty, pretty yeah. well. Um, oh, man. Uh, I don't even know how these huge or how these Oakland guys are doing. Like, I have Matt Chapman, and like he's off yeah. to a really slow start. But like, I do want to pick an Oakland guy. Like, right. is, is Matt Olson doing good? Like, don't Who know. Knows? Oh, <laughs> like, this is such a crapshoot right now. I feel like Matt Olson is doing pretty well. Mm. Trust <laughs> your gut. Mm, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stick with my fantasy player. I am going to go Matt Chapman. Okay, okay. We're just going to cross our fingers and hope that, that he decides to pick it up this week. This is the breakout against week. Against our awful pitching of, of bullpen <laughs> Oh, days. my so, God, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. So you got Yuli right. Gurriel, and yep. I got Matt Chapman. Interesting matchup there. What do we got for the spin of number two? What are we going to pick? What What's are we gonna it going to be? What's it going to be? Give me a bonus player. Home runs. Home yes, runs. Yes, I love home Ooh, runs. Ooh, baby. All right, so you get to go first. Okay, I get to go first, eh? Ooh, Man, this is, oh, this is a toughie. I don't even know what to pick here. So uh, tough. Now, T.O. is back. T.O.'s back. I do I, like Springer's T. a question mark. I was always yeah, looking yeah, forward to yeah, picking Springer Yeah, literally. I, I honestly would have picked Springer if, yeah. uh, if he was still, like, good, but I can't. Uh, Bobo has been boom booming a little bit. Yeah, two homers. Uh, honestly, I feel like there's not a bad pick here, man. No. Like I, I'm between, I'm between Tio, Vlad, or Bobo right now. I think those are like yeah. the choices. Yeah. Gurriel had two homers. This Gurriel week. did, but I don't. He's not. Yeah, he's not yeah. the. I don't expect a homer major kind of homers yeah. from him. You know. Like, Good, but Vladdy. <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, all right, screw. It. You know what? I, I'm gonna stick with the with the big boy Vlad on yeah, this one. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with him. All right. I can't bet against that guy right now. All right, I I am gonna go with Bobo. Bobo. I think Bobo. I think because I think both of them, uh, Vlad and Guerrero, are Vlad and uh, Bo. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vlad and Bo are leading the league and are leading the team at home. Right. right okay. Right yeah. No, that that seems you know? like the fair selection, man. I was yeah. I was very close to doing that, and also too, you'll you'll be able to say Bobo go boom boom. Exactly. Which is like half the fun. Yeah, we're starting to think, guys. Bobo yeah, go yeah. boom boom. Bobo go boom boom. Bobo go boom boom. It's like, like a cake. I'll pick one for Vladdy too. You know. Yeah, that one we got it. We got it. Yeah, I'm not even sure. Out. Everyone's man. just plaquetized. It's like it's everyone's already washed them out, you know. What do we got? Total bases. Total bases. Okay, this is a new one. Ooh, and this is walks aren't included. In this no, one. no, this just, just hits. Total yeah. hits. Total bases. Total bases, man. Ah. Okay, I kind of see this one again. I would go Springer. Yeah, I would for go real. Springer if, if he was in. Um, this one, I think I'm going to go Bobo. Bo -bo? I'm going to go Bobo -bo on the Bo -bo? total bases, you know? He does get the doubles. Yeah, he does yeah, get the yeah. Doubles. I'm starting to worry that people are going to be intentionally walking Vlad a little bit too mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. And uh, That's true. And you know what? And now, I got I got a little I got a little toe in your thing, too, because if he does win the mm -hmm. home runs, then I feel right. like he'll probably also win the total bases. So. And see, that's why I'm thinking, like, honestly, I'm between Grichik and Vlad right mm -hmm. now, but, like, how could I not go with Vlad with a slugging last week of 1,000? So that I gotta go, true. Vlad. I gotta that go, Vlad. That is true, man. That is true. So read read them off again. So I got Vlad, Bo, and then Matt Chapman. Yeah, right? Jay Killer, Matt Chapman, home run, Vlad. Total bases, Bobo, and then we flip flopped. I went home runs, Bobo. Total bases, Vlad, and then Yuli Gurriel, Jay Killer. Right. All right. right. So we got the we got the boys. We got the boys. That's what Bobo it's gonna be Vlad. this week, guys. So uh, we will keep you updated. <laughs> As this week goes on, uh, yeah. about who wins this one, I gotta take a couple more off. Yeah, to get yeah, back to the game. You do if you can. Yeah, if you literally, if you take all three, you're literally in the lead. I'm in the lead. That's there right. You know, know. I'll, I'll be happy with the two and one. You know, just yeah, uh, just get, chip it away. Pick pick one back. Pick one chip back away. for sure. Chip it away. Mm -hmm. And guys, 
That is the Blue Jays Today Show. You can watch the show every single Monday if you are new here. You're like, what is going on? It's literally every single Monday. We just recap, have a good time. We talk on the live chats and whatnot. But let us know, guys, in the comments down below. What do you think the Jays are going to be doing this week against the Oakland Athletics mm -hmm. and the Houston Astros? What's our record? Let us know. Yeah, guys. And you can also check us out on Spotify, Breaker, Anchor, Radio Public, and Google Podcasts. Also, if you like the content, please make sure to like and subscribe. Today, Jace is the code to Monkey Knife Fight and to Manscaped. Also, $3 a month, you can become a Patreon. Call into the show on our Wine Unwinds. Those happen on Friday nights live. We are drinking. They are fun. It's mm -hmm. a great time. Usually, we're doing a little Q&A, and you guys yep. can drink along with us. Yes. Um, yes. Also, too, hop in on our lives. We now have Super Chat going on. We had yes. a beautiful donation today of ten dollars oh. um it was great you know that, that made us feel super yeah. nice so um yeah guys it's super fun mm -hmm. and we're happy that you're here mm -hmm. oh one last thing before we go we are having a giveaway for mother's day yes. we're, we're, we're gonna post a separate video on our instagram and on youtube just about the giveaway details uh -huh, but uh -huh, just look uh -huh. out for that if you want to be entered in the giveaway you're going to have to follow the steps so check it out on the channel if it's not already there yeah and uh yeah be entered to get some free mother's day exactly. stuff. exactly get your mom <laughs> Mama, some Blue Jays gear. Yeah, buddy. And thank you so much for watching. And go Jays, go. Go Jays, go.